welcome to day a 24 hours living on a boat as a sailing family and currently we are actually having our little holiday so this means no computers no deal making no working on our big secret projects and yes <laughs> there are more than one no coaching no mindsets just us relaxing and document which is for us actually not working at all but a passion but as it turned out to be we kind of needed a break with everything going on with our residency, big projects, setting up the companies and filming, we lost quite some footage from this adventure. But still, we have the best highlights and a beautiful day to share. So welcome to 24 hours of boat life. I'm preparing our lunch, but first we're gonna do our daily swimming lessons with Benjamin. And I think later on, after that, we're gonna explore there. And then I've been cooled down a bit and then I'm gonna finish our lunch. It's gonna be some Vietnamese mix, everything in it. Made. <laughs> Something delicious. <laughs> there are some people with a kayak. They are climbing up the, uh, the rocks over there. And we have some wind. Yeah. The wind is shifting. It's getting too much like the sausage. Oh, Nothing. He only wants spaghetti. Well, this is the part where we lost quite some footage and we are a bit gloomy about it. We had this amazing evening as a family, dancing, playing pirates, having our own little theater, fishing and watching the stars with some amazing snacks, if I can say so about my own made creations. But as we are missing this footage, guess this one is just for our memories and with a few bad quality shots from our iPhones to share with all of you.
morning we decided to start our morning with creating our own swimming pool before we have breakfast and anything else and we're gonna do that by anchoring backwards with landlines to the rocks of the little island we have a little bit more wind than expected yeah a little bit more wind <laughs> we will manage and then after that we go sailing we go sailing to sweaty stefan yes and we drop anchor over there that what we it. gonna do <laughs> exercising. Come on. So preparation is key in this kind of situation. So if we prepare everything well, we can do it the two of us. Our floating landlines. Yes. And our rock bands, or how do you call it? Slip bands. Yeah, this one. Just lifting bands, but we can put it around, around, around rocks. the rocks. Uh oh, I see! What's the problem? What? Oh, that's a, that's a pirate! And what do you see else? What's that? Anchor, toilets, diver down. Ah, you put an anchor over here. Yeah. Yes, great. See anchor. Yes, anchor. So this is the location of the anchor, right? Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna lift the anchor. anchor. And we're gonna lift the anchor now. Anchor, anchor. Okay, come on, let's go. Well, there are a little bit of rocks here and we've been moving a lot last night so we're probably stuck around the rock with a chain so i'm gonna go see up front how it's doing and giving directions Hi. Hi. we're anchored here with a lot of rocks and Rihanna has a special sensitive feeling to see and guide the anchor chain through the rocks to lift it easily so we never pull big time or so always very gentle. And I always mark where I drop the anchor. So here you can see that we are on top of the anchor. I put a mark across over there. So now I know I can, we are above the anchor and we can uh, lift the anchor. Okay, this is the sign that the anchor is free. Come Ben, it's done. Come. Well, here it is, anchoring with landlines. A skill we had to learn when we stayed in Turkey with all kinds of weather circumstances. But now we choose to do this only with mild weather. It looks easy, but it isn't so easy at all. We have to be very precise with positioning the boat, taking the wind and the current into account, and next to that the timing to tie the boat to the landlines and rocks has to be spot on. With just one second and a little breeze, you can miss your opportunity and in worst case scenario, you could bump into some rocks with your rudder. And as we are just with the two of us, plus Benjamin, who is most of the time running around and being naughty, it can be quite a challenge, even with mild weather. So why do we do it? Well, finding spots like this and creating your own little swimming pool and backyard is and always be an exceptional experience. So we're really close, but no rocks, so that's good. I think the rocks only start over there, so we can go quite a few meters back with the rudder. Okay, so cool. So I think we can come to here with the rudder. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's gonna be here. And then Mama, yeah, maybe there a line and there one. Oh, I think you should too. go back now. <laughs> okay, I guess you can. Did you have a good chair here? Yes. Drop 
anchor and we go backwards and first we're gonna secure the anchor that is really tight and then we go further backwards to the to the rocks and we're gonna tie the le the first landline on the side where the wind is coming from so then we are secured on both ends and then we're gonna do the other landline So I have the feeling the anchor is grabbing, so I put a little bit of RPM uh, on it. So then we are 100% sure. They always go, let's say in this kind of wind conditions, up to 2000 RPM. So we put the drone up in the air to document everything beautifully, but now it's starting raining, so we have to get the drone down. I will just start rowing to the rocks, prepare everything, and then the Rianne can come back, and then we tie the boat. Ready to swim? Yeah. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on, we're going to pack it. Stay with us. Water? Yeah, water. Do you like Do you like swimming, Benjamin? Yeah. Is okay. that? What is it? Joke. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Mama is such a troublemaker. Bah! Go on, take your shoes. Okay. So we're going to the lighthouse. The owners just passed by and I waved at them and then they got to the boat and I asked them, are you the lighthouse keeper? And they said, come over, come on and have a look. So Benjamin and I are gonna explore the lighthouse here in front of Bootva. Kids from the islands. Look Benjamin. They're gonna jump over there. Whoa! Go, Ben. Benjamin, can you say hello? Okay, say hello. Uh -huh. Say Say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. Onion, but it's so sunny here. Yeah. Are you helping to put the flowers in? Yes. yes. To make it more beautiful. So what is it? Uh, that is uh, grappa uh, from uh, uh, my, my English is typical uh, for Indianish. <laughs> uh, grappa, yeah, uh, with uh, olives. No olives. That is typical Montenegro. Probably really, try. You you speak German? So 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 so. It's very nice, but you make it by yourself. Yes, oh, mate. Say in Montenegro. Nado, kako se zovu drenjine na... Višnje, kako se zovu? Amarela? Cherries could be. No cherry. 
Act like she didn't like. Like Cherry. Okay. Benjamin, that is seven. And then we make this big auto. Big auto. Oh, this is good. Okay guys, bye bye! It's a big bump. Whoa! Thank you. Bye bye. Wow, oh, what a story. So nice. This is really typical Montenegrin. We just wave and we say hello, and then they invite us, and then we have a nice conversation. And they are constructing their house over there, and it's in the family for multiple generations. And they run an old lighthouse as well but they don't have electricity, they don't have uh, water so they have to bring everything up here so they have solar power, they have a genera generator and yeah, it's a family from Budva and uh, thank you very much for having us and they said you are always welcome and especially Benjamin to, uh, to visit this place and I think we will We have new friends! Yes! And he, he hurt himself. Did you get to sleep? Uh, I just chill. Okay. I couldn't sleep. I'm back, Gunther. What's up, Benjamin? I'm back, Gunther. Look, Benjamin. Gunther have a... Create some concrete. Oh, concrete. That's what he's saying. Yes. So he's a builder now. I'm just... Did you concrete building? Yes, and look at his gift. <gasps> Is it yours? Yeah. Bye-bye!
five days straight. Yeah. And there's so much more to see. And we actually thought, oh, within a week you've seen everything, but it is it's really beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, so now we are going back because you are tired. Yeah. And we have special guests and we have our sailing retreat coming up. Yeah, so we have to prepare ourselves.